hello friends welcome to my channel sql server log so today we are going to see how to resolve memory issues related to sql server instance so resolving memory issues related to sql server instance requires careful monitoring configuration adjustment and potentially hardware upgrades memory related problems in sql server can manifest as performance degradation slow query execution or even server crashes so here are some steps to help you address memory issues uh, number one memory monitor memory usage use sql server management studio or performance monitoring tools to monitor memory usage over time identify trends and patterns such as memory spikes during specific operations or times of day number two review sql server configuration ensure that sql servers max server memory setting is properly configured this setting controls how much memory sql server can use be cautious not to allocate too much memory to sql server as this can lead to memory contentions with other applications on the server so i will show you in sql server management studio okay so you have this instance for example go to properties and you have memory options here minimum server memory and maximum server mem memory to configure so uh, uh, for this i have uh, created a different uh, video and article so you can visit there for example uh, this is the article on my website configure sql server memory to optimize performance and there are different articles for performance improvement you can visit there and also you can see my video on sql server log channel okay so now coming back to uh, our point so we have seen uh, review sql server configuration number three check for memory intensive queries review query execution plans and identify queries that consume excessive memory so you can see uh, execution plans of the queries uh, to check memory issues and optimize problematic queries by adding indexes rewriting queries or using appropriate isolation levels next review buffer pool monitor the buffer pool hit ratio a consistently low hit ratio might indicate that sql server is not effectively using memory increase max server memory if there is evidence that the buffer pool is consistently under pressure okay next is use a resource governor so consider using resource governor to allocate memory resources more efficiently among different workloads or user groups so in sql server management studio for example okay so you have resource governor here so you can enable it and configure this to resolve these issues now coming back to number six review other memory related settings so check settings like minimum server memory min server memory lock pages in memory and optimize for ad hoc workloads for their appropriateness in your environment point number seven look for external memory pressure use windows performance monitor to check for external memory pressures from other applications or services on the server so you can see uh, windows has uh, this uh, performance monitor where you can set counters to check all those details okay a separate video is there you can visit there and uh, check for this for performance monitor now point number eight update sql server ensure that you are running the latest version and patches of SQL Server as Microsoft often uh, releases updates to address performance and memory related issues so time to time patches community updates are coming from SQL Server okay so you need to update the latest one to resolve uh, such type of issues now coming to point number nine consider hardware upgrades if you are optimized SQL Server configurations and queries and still face memory issues consider adding more physical memory or you can say ram you need to upgrade ram to the server to resolve such type of issues point number 10 use sql server diagnostic tools so there are uh, use sql servers built-in diagnostic tools like database engine tuning advisors sql server profiler and extended events to identify performance bottlenecks and memory issues 
so you can uh, use this default given uh, tools and uh, advisors profilers which are in will to sql server uh, and uh, you can see how to resolve this so separate videos and articles are available uh, on my channel you can see uh, related to this to resolve this memory issues okay now coming to point number 11 implement a monitoring and alerting system so set up automated monitoring and alerting to proactively detect and respond to memory issues as they occur okay now point number 12 consider a 64 bit environment if you are using 30 bit sql server instance consider migrating to 64 bit instance to take advantage of larger memory addressability now uh, moving to point number 13 consult documentation and support so refer to sql server documentation and seek assistance from microsoft support or relevant uh, communities if you encounter specific issues that you can't resolve so there are many communities uh, uh, from where you can take help okay now uh, remember that addressing memory issues in sql server may require a combination of these steps okay so sometimes uh, just following one step will not resolve it you have to uh, adjust a couple of steps or multiple steps and it is important to carefully assess your specific environment and workload to determine the most appropriate solutions always make changes cautiously and consider potential impacts on performance and stability so by following all these steps uh, you can resolve memory issues into sql server instance i hope you will like this uh, video and uh, these uh, uh, points will resolve your problem thank you for watching this video